Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, February 9th, 2022 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, it's Patch Tuesday, so we'll start the podcast with a quick summary here, but it wasn't actually that bad compared to prior Patch Tuesdays. 70 vulnerabilities total are being fixed here, but I think that's the first one. Uh, None of the vulnerabilities are rated critical. Also, none of the vulnerabilities have been exploited before and only one was previously disclosed. Now, somewhat of note are four privilege escalation vulnerabilities uh, in the Windows print spooler. Now, these type of vulnerabilities are nothing new, but for one of them, we already have an extensive write-up, including details as to how to exploit the vulnerability. This vulnerability is based on an older vulnerability, CVE-2020, 10.48. That vulnerability really consisted in just uh, pointing a printer uh, to a file, which then would allow anybody to overwrite that file. Microsoft patched that back in 2020, but since then there have been uh, various bypasses of the original patch, starting with simple symlink attacks. But this latest vulnerability is a little bit tricky, but still sounds not all that difficult to exploit in that a user has to set up a new printer and then essentially set up a spool directory for the printer and then trick this printer into writing files into the printer driver directory, which then uh, again, an attacker could uh, write a DLL into that directory that is then loaded. So, So um, stitching essentially together a couple of prior vulnerabilities and again ending up with a privilege escalation. Like I said, there is a great and very detailed write-up about this. If you want to do more, it's more complex than that and uh, really hard to cover uh, within uh, the podcast. Nothing else that really stuck out here among those vulnerabilities. Also a bunch of Chromium vulnerabilities, of course, that had already been patched earlier this month. So given that there isn't really any emergency here, uh, take the time and hone a little bit your patch management process. Maybe go over some of the prior month's patches, make sure they all got applied properly. And Google is introducing a new virtual machine threat detection service. Uh, This is a preview release at this point and uh, will be a built-in part of the security command center premium. One of the initial uh, goals they're going for here is to detect uh, crypto coin miners. And that's, of course, a very common threat uh, for uh, cloud virtual machines. Actually, one of the most common indicators of compromise that I hear about is that, well, you get the email or the call from your cloud provider, maybe Google, uh, Amazon, whoever, to tell you that, hey, you exceeded your uh, billing thresholds. And that's often than do to these crypto coin miners. So we'll see how this will all work, but looks like this will be an added premium feature. So something you may have to pay extra for, and it will not be enabled by default. And talking about Google, we also got Android updates uh, today. Now, among the vulnerabilities being addressed here, there are two critical ones. One is sort of interesting, a remote privilege escalation vulnerability. And then the second one is a more straightforward uh, code execution vulnerability, but it only affects phones that use the Qualcomm chipset. I don't always mention it, but we also got updates for SAP. SAP being, of course, the big enterprise resource planning system and all the associated products around it. Two log4j vulnerabilities are being patched here. And uh, among the 18 vulnerabilities, there are seven with a CVSS score of an even 10. So definitely pay attention to this. We do see these systems attacked. You don't hear a lot about these attacks just because, well, uh, 
diese Tage schick more customized and uh, not really that frequent. They only affect very specific targets. That's why you don't hear about them. Doesn't mean they don't happen. So please pay attention to SAP and similar software and make sure you patch in particular these log4j issues. Well, and this is it for today. And by the way, this is the 13th anniversary of uh, this podcast. I'll add a link uh, to the very first episode to the show notes. It doesn't work actually right now. I have to see if the audio file is no longer on the web server. I still have it around, I hope, somewhere. Hot Topics back then were the configure bot and uh, DNS amplification attacks. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. and. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.